welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to give you the welcome like every Wednesday. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful poncho. Look, look at the colors. I love the charm that I use because it has a little sparkles in it. It shines a little bit and I love it how it looks. Remember that we are in a new section where I could check where, what you shared to me, okay? So this is one idea, one, one of you shared it and I love it, so and I decided to make it. The original idea was with the sleeves, but we, I decided to do it, to make it like this. Look at the back. I love it how it looks. It's just two circles and then you join it here in the, in the shoulders. If you want, you can make the sleeves too, with the same stitch too. Uh, until the cuff and I think it will look beautiful too. So go like in Mexico it's a little bit warm yet. Well I decided to make it without its sleeves but maybe in your countries and in your city right now it's pretty cold and today is the first day of autumn so probably you can make it with sleeves. But remember that it's up to you this is just one idea and thank you so much for share your ideas with me. I love to read all your beautiful messages. Thank you for following me. Thank you for being my friend and thank you for sharing these ideas, okay? Well, if this is the first time that you watch these videos, my videos, well, please don't forget to subscribe. And well, first I will give you the material list and then the step by step of how you can make this beautiful idea, okay? Well, let's do lose more time. And let's start right away. Well, to make this beautiful poncho, you will need 200 grams of this Angora gold. Look, it's like a fine material and it has a little sparkles in it. I love the colors. And a crochet hook of number four. If you want to make the slips, well, probably you will need more material. But if you want to use the same material that I use in all the videos, here I will leave all the information. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es With one thread and with our hook, we are going to make five chains. Okay, then we are going to close in circle. Remember that we are going to make two exactly pieces like this. One from the back and one from the front. Well, once you have the five chains like this, insert in the first chain, take both threads and bring them through. Look. Then go up with three chains and come back here insert in the center and single crochet and again go up with three chains then come back and single crochet so we are going to go these ways so here we have two we are going to continue like this until we have 12 waves like this one okay 12 like this so let's continue well, now here we have 12, and now we are going to slip one onto the top of this wave. Sorry because of the noise, as I told you, my neighbors are constructing something, and I can avoid that noises. Well, here I am in the top now, double crochet, then three chains, one, two, three, and insert your hook here in the top of the other wave double crochet, three chains, and again insert your hook here, then three chains, and again double crochet, and like this the whole row, like we made 12 waves, well we must have 12 like this one, okay, so let's continue. Well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close, now to continue, we are going to take this one in relief like this then two chains and again 
we are going to make a double crochet here inside this stitch. Two chains and then we are going to take the next one like this in relief. Then again two chains and the next one. So we are going to make two double crochet inside each pleat and like this the whole row, okay? Look so far, it's like this. So at the end we will have something like this, okay? We are going to slip one to close and here it is. Well now for the next row we are going to slip until the beginning and look. We are going to take one in relief, this one, double crochet and again a double crochet. So we are going to make two, three chains and then in the next one we are going to take it like this, double crochet and again a double crochet. Then we are going to make double crochets of two crochets. So we are going to make one in relief and then two inside and we are going to make three chains in between. And like this the whole row. So here one in relief, then two insides. So here it is. We made in this row we made three double crochets. In the first one we went one, then we made two, then three, then in the next one we are going to make four then five, then we are going to make six and like this we are going to increase until we have a big windmill and until we obtain the white of our back or the one that we need, okay? We are always going to increase always here in the last. We are always going to make two here. For example, to start the next row I'm going to slip until here and then I'm going to make two inside and then two outside. And like this we are going to increase, now I will have four. So one in relief and then two here inside. Look, now in the next row we are going to make three here and two outside and then in the next row four and, and two outside. And like this until we have a big windmill. Well, look at this, look at the color. I love how it looks and I love how the colors get this shape. And look, without counting the row that we made of weights, here we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen. Okay, so now I'm going to measure it so you can have an idea. Please try to make this not too loose, a little bit tight. So look, this measure approximately uh, 40, 46 centimeters, right? Well, approximately 44. Well, I suggest that while you are continue, please uh, try it in to see if you have to make more rows or less, okay? Probably you will need less. This is the white of I want, I'm going to wear it. So that's why I have these centimeters, but it's up to you and remember to try on before you continue. Maybe you are going to need less rows. Remember that you have to make two exact pieces like this one. Later I will show you how we are going to join, but before we continue I wanted to show you the back. Look, look, I also think that the wrong side looks amazing with these little pleats here, but it's up to you. Before you continue and we, I teach you how we are going to join, please Select the side that you like and join both parts with the right side, okay? Be careful. Well, look here I'm making the second piece and here we have two, three, four, five. I'm always at the edge we are going to make two. Look. As I told you, sorry if you hear any noises, I try to avoid them. But well, here we made one and then two outside, then two and two outside, then three and two outside, four and two outside and like this I continue until I obtain the white of the circle that I want. Remember that in the last piece we made 16 rows so you have to make exactly 
the same number of rows that you made in the other side and always increase like this. So let's continue. Well, look, here it is, the second piece. It looks amazing with 16 rows, remember? Well, now we are going to make some rows and then we are going to join both parts, okay? We are going to uh, take two double crochets. Here is where we finish. Now we are going to make three rows uh, reducing two stitches of each side, okay? And in between we are going to make rows of waves. So I will show you how, okay? So let's start. Well, we are going to start to reduce here. So I'm going to slip two, one and two, and then I'm going to start here. Double crochet of two crochets in each pleat, uh, like this. Four, five, and six. And seven. Probably you will have more stitches or less according of the side of the circle that you made, okay? But we are going to continue and then here, here to reduce again, we are going to skip two stitches here and we are going to make chains. Six chains, four, five, six, insert your hook here and then you are going to make six, six chains, sorry, four, five and six and we are going to skip two and here in relief one double crochet well at the end of the row we are going to slip three stitches like this then one double crochet and in this row we are going to make three ways Okay, and then here we, we already skipped two stitches in each side and then we are going to make six chains and again we are going to insert the hook here in the top of this wave. Again, six chains and then here is where we are going to start making the double crochets skipping the two stitches at the beginning. So look, here in the last row we have two waves then we will have three and then in the next row we will have four, you will see. Look, here I finish the rows and at the end I have four double crochets and four waves. Well, now to start the next row we are going to slip until the middle of these double crochets and then here in the middle we are going to make a double crochet of two crochets. Crochet six chains and insert here in the middle of the last wave. You can insert your hook here in the middle of the chain or just taking the middle. And then six chains. Look, this is the double crochet. One, two, three, four, and six waves. We are going to continue like this the whole row. We made this, one double crochet and then six uh, waves. Now to continue, we are going to slip until the middle of this wave. Okay, here I lose the stitch. Well now, two double crochets of two crochets, five chains, and here two double crochets of two crochets, one, two, three, four, five chains, and again two double crochets of two crochets. And we are going to continue like this the whole row. Well, at the end of this row, we are going to increase one double crochet per um, row, okay? So here we made the two that we usually made, and then one outside of the two crochets and here we are going to make four chains and 
we are going to continue to double crochet inside two and three and like this we are going to continue the whole row and in the next row we are going to increase one instead of three four and then five and we always going to leave four chains in between and then we are going to continue like this until we obtain the white that we need okay remember that we must have two exact pieces like this one so count your rows and here I have one piece ahead and I made one three rows so here I'm going to finish this row and then I will teach you how we are going to join okay so see you here because we are going to use the third row to join the other part okay so see you there so here I'm about to start the third row and remember that I told you that we are going to use the third row to join with the other part I put these markers to point it out we are going to uh, join well as I told you we are going to use this row to join so here is where we start and we are going to leave without joining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This will be our color, and we are going to join these stitches. Okay, you have to calculate all the stitches that you want to join. Probably you will have less because you will make less rows according to the size that you are going to make. So in this case, and for me, I'm going to join just this part. So we are going to make Two chains and we are going to join this side with this other side and then two chains and we are going to continue in the other side with the stitch so you are going to continue making the stitch joining one side with the other side then I will show you how I I place a market and leave the color free well here I zoom out a little bit and I leave one and I'm sorry from here uh, one two three four five six seven eight so I skip these stitches and I will join this part and in this side is keeping one in between one two three four five six so counting with the one that we skip we will have eleven and we will join 11 in the other side and we will leave this one free for the color we are going to continue here then here in this side we are going to continue making the stitch in this part uh, until here and then here with the same stitch as I teach you we are going to join like we made in the other side well then I will show you how we are going to make the final rows okay let's continue well before I continue with the last rows I want to review this so we are going to make two chains and then with the other side and then here uh oh here I made a mistake instead of make four like this I made three so I'm going to come back be careful and so here a double crochet one double crochet more of two crochets and then two chains and I will take the other side and I'm going to continue making the same stitch well and like this we are going to continue remember that we are going to make the same in the other side and we are going to join 11 and I like to make this kind of stitches to join I like to continue with the same stitch because with this you will at the end of the project you won't figure it out and no one is going to discover where did you join so this is part of the magic and so far it has to look like this look it looks good right if you feel that it's too wide and too loose where well, you can make less uh, chains but I think it's perfect right well we are going to continue like this until I finish the join and also in the other side okay we'll see you there well I finished to join I leave the color free and now in the bottom it's where I'm going to continue only this part 
Well, I'm just making a little review, remember, because I already told you, but I want to emphasize and make it clear. And here is where we are going to continue joining with the same stitch as we made in the other side. Well, here I finished the row and now I'm going to slip one to close. And we are going to continue with the color and we are going to reduce a little bit making single crochet. I will show you how. Maybe I'm going to make here two in between and then I'm going to skip and make one and then two in between and like this. You will see and you will figure out if remember that this is according how you want. I want to let a little bit wide and open the collar because I wanted to use it a little bit under the shoulder. Well at the end of the single crochet row we are going to make a crab stitch. It's like single crochet but backwards look. And if you feel that you didn't reduce too much, well, this is the opportunity so you can reduce even more. Remember that before you continue and before you reduce more, you should try on to see if you like it or not. Okay, in this case, I'm going to reduce a little bit, so I'm going to skip some stitches to close the collar just a bit, okay? And with this, we will finish the collar, and now we are, when we finish this, we are going to continue with the bottom. Also here in the bottom we are going to reduce a little bit. We are going to make a double crochet here, one, two, here in between these double crochets that we made before, then two chains, and a picot like this. This is the, a picot. And again in the same stitch, one, two double crochets, one here I'm going to make the second one and without making chain right away single crochet here and we are going to have something like this and then again uh, here in the middle one double crochet so we will make two a picot and then two and without making chain like this and this is how we are going to continue all around the bottom of this beautiful punch okay at the end I think that we don't need to iron it, like this is perfect. Well, so what do you think? I love it. I love to make this beautiful poncho. Remember that if you want, you can put and you can make the sleeves with cuffs and I think it will look beautiful, but remember that you will need more material. Like this, I think it's perfect. I think it's beautiful. And well, thank you so much for uh, share more ideas with me. If you have one, please send me to uh, an email uh, amigas at gmail.com and there I will see all your beautiful mes messages and all your beautiful ideas, okay? Well, I have a surprise for all of you. If you live in Europe, I will be very soon there. I hope we can meet. I hope that you can go. I will be selling all of these beautiful materials that I use in all my videos and in some events I will be there, in some others I can be there because I have some uh, previous dates in Mexico. But my daughter is going to put a beautiful stand where you can buy all the materials and accessories that I use in all my videos. I hope that you can make it and I hope that you can visit them. And if you see them, please give them a huge hug and send them um, great things from here. I will be very happy if you see them. Please, if you go, take a picture and tag me. I love you to see you with them. Here I will leave the dates where they will be. They will be in France, in some parts of Spain, in Italy. And if you live close to these places and if you have someone that lives close from there, please invite them. Those um, fairs are beautiful. I wish I can make it. But the one that I will be there, and it's 100% I will be, is in the one that is going to be in Paris, France from 27th of November to December 1st. Well, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!